This exam paper is worth eight marks. Coronary heart disease and high blood pressure are major risks affecting long-term health. Analyse the reasons for the increase in coronary heart disease and high blood pressure in the UK. Evaluate how diet and lifestyle choices can reduce these health risks. Coronary heart disease, known as CHD, occurs when the blood vessels that supply oxygen to the heart become narrowed or blocked by a buildup of fatty substances. If blocked, the arteries can't deliver enough oxygen-rich blood to the heart, resulting in a heart attack. What is blood pressure? Blood pressure is the pressure of blood in blood vessels, which are tubes called arteries. These blood vessels carry oxygenated blood from the heart to the brain and the rest of the body. A certain amount of pressure is needed to move the blood around the body in arteries, rather like a tap running water to steady pace through a hose pipe. The water represents the blood in the blood vessels. So what is high blood pressure? High blood pressure occurs when the pressure of blood is continually high as it moves through the arteries, rather like a tap being turned up high so water gushes through a hose pipe. It causes arteries to lose their stretchiness, so become stiff or narrow. Narrowing of these tubes makes it easier for fatty material to build up on the artery walls, which affects the blood flow. If the artery is stiff or narrow, the heart has to work harder to force the blood through the arteries. This can damage the heart. Narrowing affects the blood supply to the heart or brain and could cause a heart attack or stroke. A stroke is when the brain cells die due to a lack of blood supply. So analyse the reasons for increased heart disease and high blood pressure in the UK. The main reasons for the increase in coronary heart disease and high, high blood pressure include being overweight or obese. Excess weight can lead to fatty material buildup in the arteries, so restricts blood flow. High cholesterol. There are two types of cholesterol, low density lipoprotein and high density lipoprotein. The high density lipoprotein is helpful, think of the H for high, whereas the L density lipoprotein is, is harmful for us. And if there's too much LDA cholesterol in the blood, it can collect on the artery walls and cause narrowing. This affects the blood supply to the heart. Also a diet high in saturated fat. Saturated fats are found in animal products such as meat, cheese and butter. They can lead to increased LDL cholesterol in the blood, causing blockage of arteries. A diet high in salt or sodium. This can lead to raised blood pressure, which, which can increase the risk of heart disease and stroke. Also having an unbalanced diet, not based upon the Eat Well Guide. A balanced diet can help prevent weight gain, lower harmful cholesterol and reduce the risk of high blood pressure. It's important as well to eat five portions of fruit and vegetables each day as it helps to prevent weight gain. It's a good source of fibre and many studies have shown that it decreases the risk of coronary heart disease. So factors leading to coronary heart disease, well, diabetes, either type 1 or type 2, high blood sugars over a period of time can cause damage to the blood vessels and lead to coronary heart disease. Diabetes may also be a contributory factor to high blood pressure. Smoking and excess alcohol consumption can lead to high blood pressure and increased LDL cholesterol in the blood. Both can cause coronary heart disease. A sedentary lifestyle and lack of exercise can lead to obesity and also fatty material building up in the arteries. This can restrict the blood flow. 
So the exam question asks you to evaluate how diet and lifestyle choices can reduce these health risks. Eat less salt to reduce blood pressure. Adults should have less than six grams of salt each day. Eat less saturated fat to reduce the risk of fatty buildup on the artery walls that lead to heart disease and stroke. Follow the Eat Well Guide to ensure a balanced diet that promotes health and helps prevent weight gain. It's important to eat five portions of fruit and vegetables, 80 grams serving per portion. These need to be eaten each day to prevent heart disease. Fruit and vegetables provide soluble fibre which lowers LDL cholesterol and prevents fatty material forming in arteries. Also, you need to replace refined carbohydrates which have been processed and had fibre removed, such as white bread, white rice and white flour, with brown and whole grain versions, such as whole wheat bread. They contain more dietary fibre and so help to lower the LDL cholesterol in the blood.